Hi, this is Capri. Welcome to my iPad series. This is my iPad. So as you can tell, thankfully, this is not going to be yet another unboxing video. There are scads of those on YouTube already. But I'm going to show you something else with the iPad, which I haven't seen demonstrated on YouTube yet. It's how to activate the voiceover feature, which enables the visually impaired and blind to use the iPad even though it has a touch screen, which is pretty amazing. First of all, I'm just going to show you what the iPad comes with. Besides the uh, little booklet, which is the manual or the instructions, it comes with this little charger that has these little two prongs that you plug into the wall. And uh, at the other end of it is there's a hole where the iPad cable goes into. And then the other end of the cable plugs into the iPad itself. And it's, it's a neat little charger. It's, actually very nice to hold in the hand it uh, just it's just neat and then of course when you're not using it you just push the prongs in so they're protected now I'm going to show you how to activate the voiceover for the, with the iPad it's a lot like singing an iPod actually there's not much of a, a difference but there are some things that you want to check and uncheck for certain settings within when you're when you're customizing it in iTunes. So I'm just gonna plug the cable in here. There I just plug that in. Now it's gonna make a sound pretty soon because the the iPad and the computer are connecting. And I'll turn my monitor on while I'm at it. <clears throat> There goes my computer, there goes the iPad. Voice over on. 12.43. I have a headset on because I'm listening to my desktop screen reader through the headphones. That's why you can't hear them. But you heard the iPad. It spoke to me. Well, let's pretend that it doesn't speak. <laughs> and you want to activate voiceover. I'm just going to tab through until I find what I want. Oh, <laughs> the iPad's not going to shut up. <clears throat> okay, so I'm at sources. I want to go to the iPad. I'm just going down. And lots of iTunes U, books, applications, ringtones, radio, iTunes store, um, you know, devices, and... Uh, under that is iPad. So now I'm going to tab into that. It's a whole bunch of options and information like what the volume is. And it says the iPad sync is complete. Okay, I, I, I don't know <laughs> why it said that. but <clears throat> Okay, to disconnect? Well, no, I disconnected it. So summary. Now it's giving information that it's iPod. Well, there is an iPod within the iPad. And it's giving the capacity, the software version, serial number, version. Didn't we just have that? Does it check for updates. Your iPad software is up to date. No kidding, I just got it. And restore. Don't worry about that. And there's options. Open iTunes when this device is connected. Oh, I'll just leave that the way it is. Sync only tick songs. That's you get that in the iPod too when you hook that up to iTunes. Prefer standard definition. And that's for media files. That's on my uh, iPod settings as well when I connect my iPod to my computer. Manual and manage music. Uh, that's in there too. Then there's something different. It's encrypt, encrypt iPad backup. I'm just going to leave that as is because I don't really know much about that or how to do it or what, you know, even what that means. So, um, now configure universal access. This is where you want to go to customize voiceover, turning it on and off and other features like zoom in and um, black on white display and that kind of thing. So now we're in the universal access and the first thing you get is seeing. That's um, the options for that is voiceover, zoom, or neither. If you want the voiceover, you 
make sure the voiceover is checked. Then tab to the, the next option is use white on black display. I'm going to leave that unchecked. But that's for if you can read the screen but you require some higher contrast. Speak, auto text, check, box, check. I'm not sure what that means, but it's got to do with voiceover. Use mono audio. That's for people who use voiceover but they're a little harder of hearing. And I think that makes the iPad um, speak in more of like a... Instead of stereo, it's mono. So it comes at, at you from kind of more of a universal direction or something. <coughs> then... I got the OK button, which I would hit normally. Um, when you first hook up your iPad, though, you will get asked if you want to set up voiceover, if you're sure that's what you want to do, because that will change some of the gestures that you use on the iPad. And I'll explain that in the next video, why the gestures in voiceover are a bit different from non-voiceover use in the iPad. Uh, so I didn't get prompted because voiceover is already act activated on my iPad. But So then um, you get the OK button, which I'll just hit. OK, so we're back at the, the these options where it says, that way if I want to go into universal access and change something, maybe I made a mistake and I want to change something, I'll just space bar into that again and uh, change something. But I won't do that. I'll just tab further down. Now, it's just giving me information for all the different, like the capacity, what the iPad can all hold. I'm just going to hit the sync button. Sync in progress. The sync in progress, and my computer dinged at me, so it should be complete. But when I've disconnected my iPad, I've gotten this note on the iPad asking me to cancel the sync. So I don't know what that is all about. Screen locked. Well, I'd like to unlock the screen again on the iPad, so I'll just do that. 1239. Unlock. Button. Unlock. Calendar. Hmm. Okay. So what I did with the un un <clears throat> unlock was that I double tapped it. I didn't activate it when the voice said unlock. I was touching the icon and then to actually make it unlock I had to do a quick uh, double tap. And that is one of the main differences between using voiceover versus not using it. Is that you just, without using voice, you just simply touch the icons that you can see and they'll activate. But when you're using the voice, that is not practical. You have to know what the icon is first so it tells you that. And then you select it, and then to activate it you have to double tap it. But I will demonstrate that more in the next video. You've now seen how to act activate voiceover in the iPad. Until next time, goodbye.